Today I'm going to show you how to make a seamless pattern in Photoshop. And the most important thing is that we start out with a square document. So here I'm just opening a new document that's 10 inches by 10 inches, 300 pixels per inch, and your color mode doesn't matter too much. Uh, but you do want to think if you want to print this out, you're going to want CMYK color. If you're using this on a screen, you want RGB. So go ahead and hit OK once you have all those settings. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here with Command minus. And then I need to create some guides. So I'm going to go to View and New Guide. And then I'm going to type in a percentage here because I want this divided you know, exactly in half. So I have a horizontal division with my guide here at 50%. Hit OK. And then I need to do that vertically too. So view, new guide. Now I click on vertical. Type in 50%. Hit OK. So now I've divided this uh, document into four smaller squares evenly here. And I'm going to right now take the snap off of these guides. But later I'm going to put that back on. I'm also going to take the visibility away from these guides right now by hitting command colon. All right, so now I can start my drawing. Uh, one thing I may want to do though before I start is to unlock my background. So I'm going to double click on that layer and just rename it to layer zero. And then I'm also going to duplicate that layer by hitting command J. So now that I have this new layer, I can draw directly on that in any draw with any drawing tool in pixel mode. Or if I wanted to move things around after I drew them, I could do a new layer, Command Shift N, and draw on that. So I'm just going to use my brush tool here, but you can use your custom shape. You can use um, any different drawing tools, the pen tool if you would like to. Um, anything like that would be fine. And I'm just going to do some simple swirls here for my little pattern, and that will work for me. Now this can be in black and white, but it can also be in color. This can be as complex or as simple as you would like. But the most important thing that you have to keep in mind is that your design has to stay within the square. So none of these little lines that I'm drawing can go off of the edge of that square. They all need to stay inside of the edges, which usually when I draw patterns on a piece of paper, I like to take that pattern off of the edge to imagine that it just keeps going and going and going. But in this case, we actually have to keep it inside of the edges. So whatever you do, make sure that you at least do that. And the fun thing with these patterns is, you know, this isn't looking amazing at this point. Uh, but once you shrink these down, they have a way of making even this horrible drawing that I'm drawing here look really kind of fun when it starts repeating seamlessly. So as you're practicing, don't worry too much about how your drawing's looking. Um, eventually, if you want to take more time and do that, you can. But just when you're starting out, you'll be surprised at how even like something like this will look really fun once we shrink it down. It's kind of fun to have like a little goofy hand-drawn quality to it as well. Okay, so now I have this design done and I can start kind of making this into a seamless pattern. Uh, what I want to do before I do anything else is I want to take layer one and my copy of my background here. I'm going to hold my shift key down and select both of those. Control click and I'm going to merge those layers together because I want whatever I've drawn to actually have the edges of my document, these borders there. So if I just drew this on a transparent layer, the edges would only go to where I had drawn. So you just need to make sure you merge it to something that has a white background. Once we've done this, we need to start dividing this up. So you need to see your guides again, command colon, if you do not see them. And then we're going to go to view and check the snap and then go to view again. And where it says snap to, make sure that guides is checked. And if it is, then you're good to go on to the next step. Now we're going to select the rectangular marquee tool. Make sure that you actually select that and not any of these other tools. And then you're going to click slightly outside of your workspace. 
and then uh, drag or outside of your document and then drag your marquee tool down to that guide and you'll see that because we have our snap checked that marquee will just pop right down to that guide and it actually looks red on my screen so if that is the way it looks and if you see 10 by 5 you know that you're good and you can let go so now we want to do a command X and what we've done is we've just cut that portion of our drawing out now I'm going to go to my move tool which you can hit V to get to that I'm going to hold down my shift key and move this bottom layer up and it should snap into place and if you look at the little um, thing next to my cursor there that little pop-up window it says zero inches and five inches and that's exactly what you want so if it says that you're good and you can let go and then we're going to do a command or copy V or I'm sorry command or control V and that will paste the uh, the selection that we had cut out before so hold the shift key down again and in your move tool just drag that down until that little window says let's see here till that pops down and that says 0 2.490 don't worry so much about that because I think what has happened here is um, just the way that I've selected it so as long as that pops down into place we should be good um, now we need to do this again so we need to take both of these and merge them down so shift click on both of them and then control click and merge layers and then we're going to do the same thing we're just going to do this vertically so now I'm going to draw this across I see 5 and 10 so I'm good command X hit V to go to your move tool hold the shift key down drag that over till that pops into place let go uh, command V to paste and then shift drag that over until it pops into place all right so now we have uh, basically taken all of our interior designs and move them to the corners here so now I'm going to take these two layers and I'm going to merge them again shift click on both of those and then control click or right click and merge layers all right so I'm going to go back to my brush tool and I'm just going to fill in this space and again it's really important that you do not oops, other thing you want to take off your guides otherwise as you could see my drawing kind of snapped to those guides so I'm going to do a command colon to take the visibility away from those and then I'm just going to draw here so again it's really important that you do not go off the edges you just want to fill in the gaps of the space that's left And once you're happy with that, you can then go ahead and save this pattern um, because at this point it should be seamless, ideally. So we'll see if that actually works. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go to Edit, Define Pattern. So here you can see our pattern in there and we're going to call this Swirls that's kind of what that looks like so now I'm going to take the visibility off of this pattern that I've created and I'm going to click down onto this layer zero I'm going to double click in that layer and now if I go into pattern overlay and I go down here into my menu I should see there is my squirrels pattern now all I have to do is scale this down Ooh. and you can see that it is indeed a seamless pattern so I can scale it up and down and it will repeat infinitely depending on how small I make that. Um, but there you can see it's very simple. You can do this with any kind of drawing tool. You can even place different images into um, your document to create these patterns and then use them as a pattern overlay. Now uh, one thing that you may want to do is if you go into your patterns make sure that you save these patterns so that you don't lose them. Um, as you're making them but you, there's infinite possibilities of what you can do with this so have fun making some original seamless patterns and enjoy <laughs>